suspect you've all wondered about. So um, it, is, it is partially genetic, but only about 50% of the risk. Uh, so uh, if you had identical twins uh, that have identical genetic makeup, uh, and one has type 1 diabetes, only half the time would the other develop type 1 diabetes. So that tells you it's not, it's not just genetics, it's something else. And, and we know, but we don't know why. So here's an interesting study. Uh, there's something called the microbiome, um, which essentially is all the bacteria that live in your intestinal tract. And it turns out we've ignored this, you know, we, we focus more on when it causes disease, uh, but we haven't really understood fully that it's, it's actually doing a lot of helpful things. And it's a way that the, the, the GI tract communicates with the rest of the body, the brain, et cetera. So these bacteria that live there, we all have it, it's necessary for life. Um, they looked at, uh, so Finland has uh, the sort of highest rates of diabetes, uh, type one diabetes, sixfold higher than anywhere else. And, and a few hundred miles away um, in, in a town in Russia that's a rural town, um, there's a much lower risk so they're really close to each other and it allowed them to say, what is it about the people in this place in Finland and these, this place in Russia that leads to a six-fold difference in the development of type 1 diabetes? So they looked at their microbiome um, and they saw that there were differences in what types of bacteria they had. Uh, and, and they sorted out their, you know, these are like, Billions and billions of bacteria. They sorted out what the differences were, um, and 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 essentially what they said is the the big difference in these two places uh, is that in Finland there, there's really good hygiene. Uh, you know, uh, people wash their hands. They you know drink safe, clean water. You know, it's uh, um, it's not unlike you know the, the the health standards here in the U.S. Um, and and so. There, those, those antigen-presenting cells, those cells that recognize things that are foreign, they haven't had a chance to get educated on lots of things that are okay. There's a lot of stuff. Kids play in the dirt, and the body recognizes most of that's fine, right? Uh, in, in this other environment, uh, in Russia, which is a, a sort of less hygienic, uh, rural place, theory is that they get educated with more exposure to more bacteria early on. And that might be the difference. And, and to prove that, they said, we're going to find the difference in the bacteria of these two groups. Uh, and then we're going to, we're going to test this in, in animals. And there's an animal model that develops type 1 diabetes. Um, and they said, what if we take the bacteria from the <coughs> Russian sort of microbiome and put it in those mice? and it protected them from developing type 1 diabetes. So there's something there in the microbiome, and so more warnings come. And when I talk about pathway at the end, I'll, I'll mention someone that did some of this work.